I suppose the most important thing about mental health is to know that it's not the absence of mental illness. So we prefer looking at it as a concept of well-being, uh, emotional and cognitive men um, well-being. So that is the way we think and feel and behave. How are we as individuals able to realize our own potential? Um, how do we deal with normal stresses that everyday life throws at us? Are we able to work productively and fruitfully? And can we contribute to the community that we live in? So those concepts are much more meaningful looking at mental health rather than just the absence of mental illness. What mental health is influenced by really is uh, maybe broadly three um, factors. One is biology, and that looks at our um, hereditary components, really, our genetic makeup, how our brain develops, chemical balances and imbalances in our brain. And that is what the medical model mostly looks at, the freedom from disease. The other thing is uh, psychology, that is our early childhood experiences, how could we develop, um, how supportive were our caregivers and our direct environment, and what happens in our early years really shapes us who we are as adults, so that's really important. And the other thing, I suppose, is social environment. Do we grow up in a society that supports who we are? Can we express ourselves the way we are? It starts with the family, the micro um, uh, social environment that we're born into, and the culture and religion and everything else in society.